Let's just move our body left and right. Breathing in and out. Inhale through your nose, deeply exhaling through your mouth, slowly. And make sure your out breath is longer than your in breath. So each time we release something, our stress, our stagnant energy, make sure that um, out breath is always longer. Now gently let your hand tap your mimen. Mimen is in the center of your uh, lower back. That's the direct opposite of your lower dantian. So use the back side of your palm to tap the mimen. And now go higher to the ribs. A bit higher and harder under the armpit and a bit higher, shoulder and higher, over, over the shoulder. Very nice. Going down back to the armpit. So right now you're tapping the first pressure point of the long meridian. So give it a good tapping. Lower to the armpit, to the ribs. Mimen. All right, and then let's shake, shake it off. While you're shaking, bouncing your knees a little bit. Now let's uh, bring our awareness to the wrist, focus on the wrist. Fingers, wrist, shake, harder. Just a little bit harder each time. And bounce it harder. Lift your heels up above the ground, maybe half inches, and let it drop. Keep breathing, inhale through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. Now bring your awareness to your elbow. Move your elbow and pretend that your, your wrist is not working anymore. Just work with your elbows. Everything else uh, below, below the elbow is just following the movement of your elbows. All right, change directions. Work with your elbows only. Everything else just hang there. Now bring your awareness to shoulders. Now just imagine both arms are not yours anymore. You can only control your shoulders, the movement of shoulders up and down. Let your elbow and wrist and fingers go. Just focus on the elbow. Uh, shoulders up and down. <sighs> Keep breathing. Inhale through your nose deeply. Exhaling through your mouth slowly. <sighs> Exhaling is much longer than inhaling. Okay, now let's turn the light bulbs. Imagine you're turning the light bulbs. And you can create a little bit tensions in your fingers, the finger joints. Turning the light bulbs. Now I'll count, let's count to 20. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
ten, and ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Feel that tingly sensation between your fingers. Hmm. How do you feel? Relaxed. All right. Let's do more. Let's pet. Pet. Pet in the air, and let's do twenty as well. So relax your wrists and move your palms, your hands really fast. Petting in the air. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Relax. Shake, shake. Do you feel sore? A little bit. All right. Let's roll our shoulders backwards. Open your heart. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, reverse. One. Play with your spinal wave. Two, three, four. Feel your spine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And very good. Now let's do the wrist exercise. So let's do the、uh, circle. And as you're doing the external rotation, bring your arms moving outward. One eighty. Now reverse. Internal rotation. And、slowly bring your arms to the front, and let's do it again. External rotation, going out, open. Nice. Internal rotation, coming back to the center. Let's just do one more set. Going out and going in. Relax, shake. All right, let's move our hips. Big circle. Three big circles. Two. Three. Nice. Now reverse. One. Two. Three, very good. Let's do some joint rotation for our knees. Smaller circles. Do five, four, three, two, one, and reverse. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. All right. Let's do some ah、uh, ankle. I hope you can see my feet. All、right. So one, two, three, four, five. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. Now bring your toes. The toenails touch the floor. And then gently press, press, press. Nice stretch. The other side. One, two, three, four. Five. Change direction. One, two, three, four, 
Bye. Very good. Now, toenails touch the floor. Press. Stretch. Nice and gentle. All right. Now let's do some uh, heel lifting. So I bring my heels up slowly and put it down gently. Let's do 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job. Now let's lift. Our heels, standing our toes, stay in this posture. If you need help, um, you can hold on your chair or touch the wall or with your bow staff. You can use any prep that is convenient to you or nearby. Or you can challenge yourself, just standing on your toes. And we'll count to 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And if you have both staff, you can tap with that both staff, or you can just use your feet to tap, tap, to release the tensions. Tap the stress out. All right, good. Now with the staff or chair or wall or without external rotation, let's do five, four, three, two, one. Nice, now internal, one, two, three, four, five, very good. The other side. External, one, two, three, four, five. Internal, one, two, three, four, five. Very good. Now let's kick to the front with the ball over your feet. So let's do one. Two, three, four, five. Very good. The other side. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Now side kick with the blade. Let's kick with our blade. One, two, three. Four, five, the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we are all warmed up. So today, um, I wanna introduce you to Turtle. This is my uh, newest favorite, <laughs> you know, I. I like Korean the most for a long, 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 long time. But um, recently I'm in love with turtle. So I'm going to show you the turtle walk. Well, before that, um, let's begin with some breathing regulation. So for all the Qigong practices, we are opening and closing are the same. We regulate our breathing and heartbeat. So let's do some um, regulating movement first, breathing in, 
and gently bend your knees, breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. And I know you're uh, watching your screen right now, but when you're practicing on your own, the proper um, eye gazing is about 45 degree downwards. So it's like your, your eye gaze is towards um, maybe five feet, six feet in front of you on the floor. And also, um, when you're releasing your stress, the way you breathe is uh, breathing through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. But once you feel that you have released enough, you can start to breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. And also to calm our nervous system down, the out breath should be longer than the in breath. This feels so good. Hmm. Imagine that if you can just do this posture 50 times every day. You don't really need to learn all kinds of fancy moves. Just be friends with your own breathing. Let's do three more. How are you feeling? Good, relaxed, very nice. Now let's go to our uh, turtle walk. So I'm going to show you the uh, movement in uh, 10 times speed. It's the Qigong itself should be really, really slow. You know, turtle, they move very slow. But since I'm ju just going to introduce you this uh, Qigong exercise, I'm going to speed it up. So breathing in, you step with one leg forward, breathing in. Rocking back, breathing out. And extend both of your arms. This is breathing in. And then you duck your head. This is breathing out. Now rock your body backwards, breathing in. And stretch your neck, tense up your wrist, breathing out. So with those three sets of breathing, that's one set on one side. Same thing the other side. Step, breathing in, 
Breathing out. Gently touch the air in front of you, breathing in. Rock your head, breathing out. Rock your body back, breathing in. Do your spinal wave. And breathing out. Then let's do the other side. I'll move to this corner so I can keep walking. This is a walking exercise. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. The other side, breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. The other side, breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, and breathing out. I'll turn the direction so you can see both. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. The other side, breathing in, breathing out. Gently touch, breathing in, back your head, breathing out. Rack your body back, spinal waves, breathing in. And breathing out. The other side. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. How do you feel? <laughs> so this is faster than it should be. So once you learn this routine, and when you are practicing on your own, you should make it as slow as possible. Let's do a slower version together a few more times. Inhale. Curve your back, inhale, exhale, rock back, inhale, stretch, exhale, the other side, step, In, out breath. From eye level to higher, gently touch, X. Uh, inhale, back your head, exhale. Rock back slowly, inhale. The other side. In. Out. 
spinal wave here. Inhale. Back your head. Exhale. Gently rocking back and roll your spine. Inhale. Exhale, stretch. Walk to the other side, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing in, breathing out, one more, breathing in, breathing out, curve your back, breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. So we come back to center, closing. Very nice and store the energy back to our Dantian. Bring your awareness into your Dantian and check your balance. Are you centered? Hmm. It feels so good, isn't it? Hey, right. what do you think of turtle? Well, I think we only did a very short exercise with a turtle, but um, ideally you wanna at least do 15 minutes a day with a turtle walk. And I think it's a wonderful exercise to do in the morning or any time if you have the opportunity to walk in the trail, you can, you can do a turtle walk. So are you ready for, for a new one? <laughs> Let me see. Is that the practice of generating chi? Yes. Yes. Wonderful question. <laughs> Can't wait for the grandchildren to catch me doing this. Is there a story mental prompt that go along with a deep breath movement? The mental story. Do you want to discover your own? We can all make up our own story. To me, when I was doing the turtle, I feel like I'm a turtle swimming in the ocean and just enjoying all my freedom. And I, ah, so I'm, <laughs> good morning. Yeah, good morning at your part of the world. Yeah, but um, 
the reason I love turtles so much is that I feel turtles, they don't really care too much of the, the worldly things. If there is sun, they are just resting on the log to enjoy the sunshine. And if it's early morning, you will find them just walking slowly and enjoying the dew on the grass. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to share another movement if we still have time. Yes, we still have time. Uh, let's do bird. That's eagle. Oh, speaking of mental story, I don't know if we have time to, to share. Okay, so in 18 form, probably most of you know me through my 18 form. And I do play favoritism when I was doing Qigong. There are three moves in the 18 form are my most favorite. So before we go into the, the ego move, if we have time, we'll do that today. But if not, we'll save it for next time. Now I want to do the, since you asked about the story, and since we're all coming from here through 18 form, I believe. So let's um, do my most favorite three postures from the 18 form. So let's uh, still one foot in front, micro bend or more, more than micro bend. Let's scoop up the ocean water, up and take a cleansing shower. Open your heart to the heaven. Again, inhale. Exhale. Then pick up the ocean water. Take a cleansing shower. Exhale. Let's do three more. Breathing in. Breathing out. Better and release. Taking up the water and cleanse. Let's move to the next posture. Bring in the ocean water and wash through your heart. Sinking and push it away. Draw the water in. This is inhale. Sinking and push it away. Exhale. Receiving. And give it away. When we receive, we say, thank you. And now it's our turn to be other people's blessing. We give it away, we say, you're welcome. Breathing in. Breathing out. Life is like infinity sign. Thank you. You're welcome. And let's open our heart. Inhale. Exhale. Flying like a bird, breathing in. Breathing out. Feel the support of air. Feeling free and safe. And know that the universe has your back. Inhale. Exhale. 
back to center, the other side. Step. Scooping up the ocean water. Take a cleansing shower. Open your heart to the heaven. Again. Gather, breathing in. Release, breathing out. Pick up the cleansing water. Open your heart to the heaven. Let go of all your worries. Inhale. Exhale. One more. And let go. Let's make some waves. Bring in the ocean water. Wash through your heart. And then send it out. Exhale. Imagine that your heart is a filter. And we're sending out. The energy is much cleaner, much beautiful, much prettier than what it comes to into us, exhale. We are making this world more beautiful one breath at a time. Exhale. We receive helps from others. And we return the blessing to the world. Breathing in. And let's fly, breathing in, breathing out. Stretch your long meridians, breathing in, breathing out. Feel the freedom. You're so free. Being supported by the earth, the air, the sun, the water. Let go. Receive. And let go. One more time. Breathing in. Breathing out. Back to center. Inhale. Exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. A few more times. Bring the energy back to our energetic bank, our lower Dantian. Bring your awareness into the Dantian, check your balance. Regulating your heartbeat, your breathing. Savor this moment. We have worked so hard to reach this point. So let's enjoy this moment a bit longer. A few more breaths. Breathing in. Breathing out. Two more. 
breathing in, breathing out, last one, breathing in, breathing out. Very nice. Okay. How do you feel? Let's save some time for Q and A. How do you like the um, the three postures from the eighteen four? Those are my three favorite. Okay. Ah. Uh, the third whole chest walks forward. Yes. Yes. Just keep walking forward until you reach to the end of the classroom <laughs> and then walk back. And usually I found my uh, sweet point is doing that for 15 minutes. When I finish the turtle walk for 15 minutes, it just feels so great. Feels wonderful. Tell me about a um, real basic practice of generating keep first because it's not easy to get the sync with breath and energy generated at the same time. Okay, it's a wonderful question. It's great. I'm glad you asked. So the most um, fundamental one of uh, Qigong practice. I, I wouldn't say the most fundamental one, but at least from my lineage, that one is very, very fundamental. You have to start training with that one before you do any other form of Qigong. And you may notice that I, I say spinal wave in some of her movements, in the turtle moves, right? Uh, let me show you what's spinal wave. So I'm so glad I didn't wear the baggy uniform today. Now you can see my back, you can see my spine. Hands on Dantian. And I hope you can see my knees because I'm going to gently bend and I'm going to push my Ming Men, the door of life, out and move my spine upwards. So that's, uh, we're using our body structure to guide the energy flow in the beginning, we have to. Because in the beginning, we don't know what energy flow is. We don't experience that. We don't feel that. So how are we going to direct our energy flow? So let's create our body structure to guide our energy flow. Bend your knees. Push your movement out. Make the spine travel upwards. And then sinking back down. Again, so you can see my spine. Generating, releasing, exhale. Generating, releasing, exhale. Together, let's do five times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Very last one, breathing in, <sighs> breathing out. All right, that's a spinal wave. And we're doing the yang circle today. You can practice the in circle on your own, but um, in our application, we'll be using yang circle more often than the in circle. For example, um, the grand circulation where 
using Yang circle. And in white crane, we are doing Yang circle most often. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yes, yes. Scoop up the ocean, looking for the sky, <laughs> and follow the wave or making the wave. We are all wave makers. We are making the world a little bit better every time with each of our breath. Enjoy the visual effects. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, David. Hmm. It really was my first experience doing all three movements on one side and then the other, it feels more natural. Ah. Okay, yeah, those three, they're together. They are supposed to be together. <laughs> I'm glad you did those three postures because I was wondering why you only, oh, I only did one left side. Okay, I'm so sorry. So Mike, you're uh, watching my older uh, edited version. So that time I only did uh, left side. I didn't put in the right side just because that time my intention wasn't um, was just showcasing what's that about. It wasn't an um, instruct, instructional piece at all. So I'm so sorry that you only turned your left side the whole time. But um, yeah, there is a newer addition that I include both side and also there are counts. So you know, um, what posture to, um, how many times to do each posture. And also, I think I had a visual for breathing too. You know, where to breathing in and breathing out, in, out, inhale, exhale. Yes. Oh, you're welcome, Jay Jan. <laughs> I'm sorry if I pronounce your name incorrectly, but yeah, thank you. Of course. Can you do on both sides in when doing? Mm. Can you do on both sides in when doing this? What do you mean, Mike? I think you, you were talking about in the video, I only did a left side and you're wondering if we could do both left and right. Yes, of course, the, the correct way is to do both sides. <laughs> and I apologize that my first video was only showing you the left side. You're supposed to do both sides. <laughs> Lai Mingxin, 老师, 请问一下, 在打的时候, 怎么使用进, 不用力? 太好的问题了. All right. Um, Lai Mingxin, he asked about how are we going to use our um, inner strength instead of using the force. Spinal wave. So we talk about our Dantian a lot, right? We, um, we bow. We put our hands on Dantian, and in the beginning of the training, we put our hands on Dantian, and we, after our practice, we store all the energy into the Dantian. So the Dantian, Dantian, when you are uh, training with a whip, how do you use the whip? Imagine that if you have a, a whip in your hand, Here, the handle, all the power coming from the handle of the whip. Although you use the tip of the whip to hit something as your weapon, but your, your power is from the handle. And your dantian here is the whip. So a lot of time when we see people doing Tai Chi Quan, for example, um, we will see them doing just the arm moves, right? Just the arm, just the arm. You don't feel the power. 
But if you generate the power from the Fantian, from your core, let's see the demonstration again. So this is in a very slow speed. I cannot show you the, the popping force when you're doing uh, the fast applications in the real fighting. But when you're training in slow motion, put your intention and attention in your core. Um, another example, repose monkey. So if you're just doing your arm, it will look like this. Is that right? There's no power. Bring your spinal wave. Why spinal wave? We are borrowing the gravity. Step, borrowing the gravity from here, and then the gravity travel from the feet to your legs, to your spine and then send it out through your arm. Travel, 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 send it out. Yong jin bu yong li. The jin is from our core, from our spinal wave, and it's not from our muscle strength. I hope I answer your question. All right. <laughs> of course, yes. Uh, 老师我练了一阵子, 发现还是有些招式, of course, so um Lai Ming Xin he said um he, he has been practicing for a long, long time. But um there are some postures that um it's kind of damaging his physical body, is that right? Yeah, the posture. So there, there's one um, personal story I like to share. I've been practicing Tai Chi for a really long time and I actually uh, damaged my right knee by, um, what's it, repetitive motion injury by practicing with improper posture for a long time. So I have to uh, show you the proper way to do the Tai Chi walk first in order to show you the Tai Chi Chan. But um, the proper way, let me bring the camera down a little bit. Oops, we're, we're over the time a little bit. So I should wrap it up rather soon. So the Tai Chi walk, you can put your hands in behind you. Step, rock. Now the important part, do you see my feet? Bring your heels, change, change the direction, turn your heel, rock back, and then go to the next step. Now the back heel, before you rock back, turn your back heel. I hope you can uh, see them more clearly. So the reason being of uh, turning the back heel is to change the angle to protect your knees. Make sure your knee and your toe are facing the same direction that you're you're walking towards. If you don't do that, you, you'll be dam damaging your knees. So be, be very mindful. You're welcome. <laughs> of course, I wish my teacher 40 years ago would have explained this final wave that way. Oh, we are all sharing our, our study notes, so thank you. I hope um, today's information is benefiting for all of you. And we are going a little bit over our time. And I'm so appreciated that you decide to spend this hour with me. Thank you. And I guess if you don't have any more questions. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Your videos are really, really inspirational. Thank you so much. I 
came late, but I can't wait to. Hmm, sure. So I'm still learning how to do the live stream, and I hope I can get a recording. And if I do, then I will post it in the member area, maybe. I don't know. I, I just I have to learn how to set it up. But thank you so much for, for being my guinea pigs today. <laughs> Since I'm still learning how to use this platform, you're welcome. Thank you for tuning in. I'm so happy that you're spending this hour with me, and I hope you will enjoy the rest of your evening, your your morning, and happy practicing. And I'll see you around. Oh, okay. Another、um, live stream is coming same time next week, but in the channel of. Uh, balance for life. That's where you discover me, right? Balance for life. And、uh, yeah, next week will be Nate, Master Nate. Nate's class. Please join his class. Oh, you're welcome, Chung 老师。关于腿部蹲马步、起势、落势、挥膝，在嗯。Hmm. I don't think I I quite understand the questions. So you are asking about the horse stance and the knee. Hmm. 膝盖会有顿点 What do you mean by 顿点 I feel that when you're doing a horse stance, you have to uh really respect. Your body's wisdom. Not all people can do low stance or wide stance. So, for example, if you're doing this wide and you're doing this low, yes, you will put a lot of stress on your knees. So, I think you should、uh, starting from higher horse stance and narrower stance to start with, and then find your、uh, limit. Stay within your comfort zone, on the edge of your comfort zone, and then push just a little bit, a little bit at a time. I feel that、um, taking care of your knee is much important than than just train, train, train. Yeah, just increase your your limit, a、uh, limit, tiny bit at a time. <laughs> Jade, thank you. Oh, that's so sweet, Jade. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Jade sir, thank you so much for your videos and time. You're so amazing. I love your production and follow your video every day. Thank you so much. And guess what? Who is the amazing videographer? Nate, and he's going to be the teacher next week. In his channel, Balance for Life. Maybe we will all learn to together from him next week. I next week I'll be his student, so we can chat. I'll spend time typing, just like you do today. Thank you, and let's bow. Let's put our hands on Dantie and send a gratitude to each of us. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, and I hope to see you next week. And I'll come back two weeks from today. So we're taking turns this week on my channel. Next week, um, uh, balance for life, and then after that, here. So see you same time. Bye bye. <laughs>